Hello and welcome to a little post-processing video, which will be very brief. I just want to show you how you can create a dreamy atmosphere in your photos. And if you watched my previous videos, you will know this photo here of the 25 Fontes waterfall. And here I already applied this technique a bit, but I'll apply it again to just emphasize the effect and show you how simple it is. So if you have such a photo and I want to make clear this technique will not work for every photo. It will work best for, I think, woodland photos or photos which don't have the sky in them. So here, this photo, if I would like to make it more moody, what I can do, I can just select this layer and convert it to a smart object. That's the first step because then I can easily refine the photo afterwards. The filter I'm using is the camera raw filter. So I go to filters, camera raw filter and make the settings here. And you wouldn't even need Photoshop to apply this technique. If you have Lightroom, you can do the exact same and use the new masking feature of Lightroom to be very specific where you want the effect. But we'll just do it here in camera raw. And yeah, the setting I want to use is the dehaze. So typically you use this for bringing out the details in the background if you have a hazy background. So if I pull it to the right, it makes everything much more contrasty and colorful. But what you can also do to create a more dreamy atmosphere is move it to the left. And what you see is the midtone contrasts get much less. You see also if you look here at the histogram, how it moves to the right. So the image overall gets brighter and the contrasts are diminished, which you see by the histogram getting flatter. So if you look at this, see how steep this curve is. And then if I pull the dehaze to the left, it gets more flat and more bright. And to counter this, what you can do is also reduce the exposure a bit, so like this. Now, if we look at the before and after, you see in terms of brightness, there's not much of a change, but the image looks much more soft much more dreamlike. What you can do to counter it a bit, you can use this texture slider to increase a little bit fine details and also play around with clarity, but go, don't go too far because then you would negate the dehaze effect just a little bit, just to provide some more details in the very fine areas. And again, the before and the after. Now I press OK. And now, since this was converted to a smart object, I can just use this mask key, which comes with the smart filter. I can invert it, control I. And now I just use a brush here, white brush with like 30% opacity, and I can make this very soft. And then just draw in the effect where I want it. For example, here at the outer parts, to just draw in the view a bit. I can increase the opacity to 50 and continue to paint in the effect and make this image much more moody. Let's see the before and the after to see how the image got a bit softer, a bit darker. And yeah, it's a very simple technique you can apply either in Photoshop by using the camera raw filter or directly in Lightroom. And yeah, just give it a try, play around with it, experiment, see for what images it works, for which images it doesn't work. And as always, give this video a like, subscribe for more videos and yeah, stay tuned for the next vlogs from Madeira. See you.